This video is going to cover applying to PhD programs for psychology. There are some questions you need to ask yourself when considering a PhD. Are you ready to apply to the most competitive graduate field of psychology PhD? This is comparable to applying to medical school. It could be because most public schools offer fully or partially funded programs for their PhDs. You could always come in with your own research grant, for example, the National Science Foundation, or maybe some other organization has research grants for potential PhD students. Is a PhD even required for what you want to do? Did you know that counselors like LMHCs and LCSWs can open up their own private practice with just a master's degree? And industrial organizational consultants make a really good salary with just a master's. Be sure that your main goal isn't about the title and money, because you're going to need to be ready to work hard. Do you really love this field so much that you're ready to put your life on hold for about five to potentially 10 years? Are you ready to feel like you're going to be eating, breathing, sleeping, and just living your field of interest for this length of time? If you're ready to work hard, what have you done to confirm that this is the path for you? Have you been building research experience? How about applied or clinical experience, where you're working in an internship or volunteering somewhere related to your field? How are your grades? PhD programs are looking for a 3.5 or higher. What about the GRE? Have you been studying? You'll want to practice and take the test again if you need to. The general exam scores for PhD programs is about 3.15 or higher. For psychology subject test exam, looking for 6.33 or higher for PhD programs. Also be sure you're building relationships with faculty while you're an undergraduate, but also look at the faculty at your potential schools. Start talking to those guys as well. Research experience is one of the most important experiences you need to earn to apply for PhD programs. One awesome position is being an undergraduate research assistant. Work under a grad student or faculty member, who by the way, know the most about applying for a PhD. Build yourself a mentor for one of these guys as well as build your research skills, collecting data, using SPSS, and reading scholarly articles. Look into the Honors in the Major project here at UCF, where you get to conduct your own research with a faculty mentor and build a committee. You'll have the potential to publish research project with UCF. The Undergraduate Research Journal is another way to get published with UCF. You can discuss more research opportunities and programs with the UCF Office of Undergraduate Research, so check them out. When applying to a PhD, you'll want a CV rather than a resume. It's very similar to a resume, but you get to have as many pages as you want. There's not a limit, so make sure you're only including relevant information. Be sure your research experience is highlighted towards the top of your CV, right underneath your education section. You can also include references on the last page. Make sure there's limited white space and each page ends on the end. Try not to cut off sections on separate pages. You can have graduate students, professors, mentors, your letter writers, and even UCF Career Services review and critique your CV. Start working on what your personal goal or research interest statement is going to look like. Check out our website for personal statement tips. Be sure that you're including your research interests. List the professors you've already been working with, as well as talk about the professors that you want to work with at that school you're applying to. Each essay that you're going to write is gonna be a little bit different per school's program that you're applying to. Have everyone critique it again. Grad students, professors, mentors, letter writers, the UCF Writing Center and UCF Career Services are also available to help review and critique. When you're applying to a PhD program, you're actually applying to a professor to work under. Find a professor and their schools through scholarly articles. Make sure that school is APA accredited. You can find APA accredited schools through the APA website. You'll want to build a relationship with those professors that you want to work under. Contact them through phone, email, sending actual letters, and definitely some visits. Connect with them on their research. Where is this field going? Can this be applied to other concepts of interest? What is their next project? And then the big question, are they accepting new graduate students? If they're not, that's not a program or school you want to apply to for that year. Some other tips? Look into joining the APA as a student affiliate through their website. Focus on statistics and research skills by taking additional statistics courses. Definitely look into taking our department's advanced research methods class. If you don't have the grades or research experience to apply straight into a doctoral program, consider getting your master's first. Yes, this is going to add two to three years to the five to seven years it takes to earn a doctorate, 
but it's going to be worth it if this is really your end goal. There are clinical or social work programs you can look into if you're looking into the clinical psychology field. Or any field, experimental or general psychology master's degrees look great. For these master's programs, definitely look for the ones that have thesis options to help you toward your dissertation. Don't apply to master's and PhD programs at the same school, especially in the same program. It's usually the same committee members in these graduate programs, so you won't want to have your applicant on there twice. What about a PsyD? It's more applied and less research focused, though you'll still need some research experience to apply. It can be more expensive as it's often at private colleges, but they are more accepting of lower GPAs and GRE scores. For more information, check out our video and website on preparing for graduate school. Also, connect with faculty and graduate students who have gone through this process. You can also connect with professionals in the field that are doing what you want to do. UCF Academic Advancement Programs is also very helpful, as well as UCF Career Services. Have additional questions? Email us at psychadvising at ucf.edu.